All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Comics Camp 2020, week eight. Um, I'm Merrick Bennett, and we're gonna draw some Loon Tunes today. This is our fifth Loon Tunes live draw. Got my grandfather's fishing shirt on. I have a pencil and some blank paper. So we will dive right in. So today, um, we've been drawing a lot of different Loon Tunes. And today we're gonna have the Loon Tunes come out and actually approach our fishing beans. Remember last week we drew, let's put some water down first. Last week we had our lake water, and then we'll put um, our, our beans over here fishing. So we'll put a couple rocks in for the shore. You can draw along with your pencil and paper. You can make changes. You could, you could change this up and have a different lake environment than mine. But remember we have the grass and reeds, we have bushes and things. And then we had our little bean people who are like little ovals. They come out with little stick figure arms and legs and they're fishing. So we'll put a reel on a pole and we'll have the line come down and give them a hook. And they'll be holding that pole and we'll do the faces later. We'll, we'll just rough this out. We'll have the little bean people, maybe an adult and maybe a kid and they're enjoying the fishing here. So now we need to educate these, these little bean people, the loon tunes, we can draw our loons in here to educate them about the dangers that we learned about last week. So we'll put a couple loons in here. Let's put two loons in. Remember how I, I like to draw the loons, they're sort of a teardrop shape. And let's bring the back down a little bit because these loons with their dense, dense skeletons compared to other birds, they rest pretty low in the water. They don't float up high in the water there. So we'll put a couple loons in here, floating low in the water, maybe a bigger loon and a smaller loon. Remember our males and females are about the same size. The males are a little bit bigger um, and they have the same markings. So we'll put a head on here and a head on here. Their necks are raised up nice and high. We'll bring those necks down to connect the bottom of the head with the front of the body back of the head with a little further back on the shoulders. All right, there we go. There's some loons. Heads will give them their long, sharp beaks there. Just two lines pointing out. Those are fish catching beaks. And they're fixing these bean fishers with, uh, with their stare. Friendly but firm here. So we'll put a little dot in their eye pointing towards that direction. And I left a little space back here because I think these be these uh, these loons are going to be carrying signs with messages. So let's give ourselves a nice big rectangle here and maybe a, a, a stick. This could even be like a, a stick like that with a couple branches on it. They probably made these signs themselves. Let's overlap this sign over that loon's neck a little bit. There we go and we'll put some messages on there. And they're gonna be coming up to these fisher people and educating them. Um, and that's that's a job we have to do. We all have to educate each other about the um, dangers to the environment, things we can do to help it. So these loons are doing that job. Let's give them their wing lines below the water here. We'll just finish these loons before we get into the education process. We've got tails on there. Don't forget those neck bands right in the middle of the neck. You know, I kind of like, I think this head should be in front of the sign. I, I think the loon's head is more important than the corner of that sign. And I like how that tucks around there. That's why we start with a pencil, right? We can draw all the parts. We can erase the parts. We can fix them and change them as we like. If you want to get fancy, you can put some little stripes. Those, those neck bands are actually barred, right? They're white lines. Um, but we'll put little black stripes there to make it turn it into a bar of white lines. Let's do the back too. So the back has these, we'll put heavy, thick lines going across the body. And then we'll do thinner lines closer together going along the body like this. Now that, of course, remember we're using our pie process here. So this is not the final artwork here. The final artwork comes in when we come in and ink that artwork. So we'll go over it with a marker and a pen. I have those right here ready to go. I'm just not using them yet because... I wouldn't have been able to erase some of these lines and make some changes here. Um, don't forget those feet. They're way back on the body. They're not in the middle of the body like some birds have, right? They're way back on the body. 
So we'll put those legs way back because they're powerful kicking legs. So the elbows bend forward. Maybe we'll make these legs kind of going apart as if they're kicking. And then to put the toes on, if you curl the toes back slightly, it'll kind of look like those toes are paddling the water. There we go. We'll put the webbing between the toes. Nice. So they're kind of treading water there. You can even put some turbulence around those legs. They're not swimming really fast. They've just come up in a friendly way and to educate these beans with their signs. So what are the signs going to say? Well, um, one thing that people really need to know is that loons want you to, uh, let's say, how about lose the lead? Something like that. Some kind of slogan right? Um, we'll say lose the lead. So that's alliteration, two L's, right? Sounds nice together. Um, let's see, how about on this one, something different? What about like a question, something to think about? I was thinking this one, it's going to be a little bit of a squeeze. Let's see if we can fit it. Um, you know what? I'm going to widen this sign. I'm going to say, I want this sign to say, would you feed your kids lead? You know, get the fishing people thinking, uh, wait a minute, what am I doing here? Putting this lead into the environment. Now the lead, of course, let's, let's back up here. The lead, of course, is the fishing tackle. There's a lot of cheap fishing tackle that goes on lures and goes on the hook here. It weights the line down, enables you to cast, makes the line sink to the fish's level. Um, but people don't realize that that lead, if it gets into the fish, I'll put a little fish here. If that fish gets away and has the hook in it and the lead in it, there we go. There's a little lure of lead on there and the loon eats that. Oh my goodness, it's poisonous for the loon. Loons will die within a couple weeks after ingesting that lead. So this, is, this loon is being a little more confrontational for these fishing beans. Would you feed your chicks? Because a loon would call kids chicks, right? Oh, that fits. That fits. We managed to fit it. My guideline is I usually write the words and then I do the box around them. We could do that here. I'm sort of doing it a little backwards here because the loons are fitting their slogans onto their signs. There we go. There's two loons that are stepping up to these fishing people and saying, hey, think about what you're doing. Think about your gear. Um, I notice we have some room up here. Why don't we put a flying loon up here? Right? This can be, we'll build backwards. We can start with the head. Bring the neck back, put that teardrop body on there. This loon's up in the sky, so she's a little smaller and farther away. Um, you can do two wings going up, two wings going down. My favorite is to do one wing going up, one wing going down. Some loons, they, they can be like three feet long, and their wingspan can be even wider than that. A really wide wingspan. We'll color these in. All these, oh, neck band. We'll color all these parts in when we get to the inking. So I'm not gonna spend much time blacking them in with pencil, right? And this one, this gives us a nice chance. Let's do like, um, we'll do like a little line coming back, two little lines coming back, maybe gripped by the feet under there. And we'll do a slightly waving banner here. Right, this loon, I know loons don't actually carry signs or fly around with banners, but in our Loon Tune comics, we can actually draw the loons doing speaking for the loons here, which is kind of cool. It's, it's great when your characters kind of come alive and start doing things that surprise you. This would get your attention if loons came up to you on the lake, right, and had signs and started communicating like this. It would really get your attention. So, you know, maybe maybe that makes me, when I see this comic, then I go to a lake and it makes me listen a little more and look a little more closely at what I can see happening um, among the loons and the fish. And if I see fishing lures with lead, or if I know that I'm some of my fishing tackle has lead in it, I'm going to do something about that. We'll get to that in a moment. So for, the, for now, um, this loon wants us to know um, loons love Let's use a heart for love. Loons love lead-free lakes, something like that. We're, I'm getting into the L's here. Oh, I ran out of space on that one. Maybe we can, 
Maybe we can bring it across. I'm sort of thinking of a half line here because I usually stay away from the half line, but I'm just going to bring this one right across to where it needs to be. I'm not going to worry about that. How about trade in? Old. Trade in, not old or new. Trade in your lead fishing tackle. Because actually, at least here in New Hampshire, there's a lead buyback program. So there we go. We can even make this, now we can make this, this bean looking up. Let me get my hat there. This bean's looking up and seeing that and maybe reaching down, seeing, see where, where they're getting through. This bean is going to grab that lead fishing tackle, check and make sure if it's lead or not. And this little bean, maybe this bean can be holding a sign too. So what is this? What is this bean gonna say? Maybe this bean's joining the joining the uh, the protest, right? Um, we'll think about that. Any suggestions? You can post comments um, to those suggestions. Let's see. There's one more realm down here. We have loons in the air. We have loons on the lakes. Oh, we should put in like. A little loon chick here since that sign mentions chicks put in a little young chick the the chicks that just hatched this month are still pretty small but they are swimming around they're growing fast they're swimming around on their own they're diving they're even starting to fly because they're a couple weeks old which is just amazing i think after a couple weeks they'll start to fly um Although it may be a little while longer, don't quote me on that. Let's see. So let's let's do a diving loon here too, and we'll have the diving loon. We'll give that diving loon another banner, and this is really important: the uh, connection to the information that the websites people need to do the loon buyback. So let's connect this to. We'll put a loon here. We'll put a teardrop shape. Remember how to draw a diving loon. We'll put these feet going back and grabbing, I don't know how they kick if they're holding, maybe one foot holds the banner and one foot kicks, right? So we'll do one foot paddling. If you curve those toes, they really paddle the water nicely. There we go. And we'll do a head straight forward, eye looking forward, neck and neck band. Oh, let's do an open beak on this loon because this loon is, Diving, carrying a banner, and hunting. There we go. Remember the open beak is like a V and then you bring the, the top and bottom back to the head there. All right, the checks, the crossbars, so that pattern on the back, little tail there. A healthy lead-free fish. I was thinking lead-free lakes are safer lakes, but uh, <laughs> the fish aren't safe either way with loons diving under and fishing like that. And this loon's going to have, um, let's see, trade in lead tackle. Let's call it the lead gear buyback. Because right? you can actually take your lead gear in and trade in for a certain amount of ounces of lead. You can get um, actually vouchers for new fishing gear that is lead free. So I wanted to put this website on here, loonsafe.org. Did I get that right? Yes. That's the Loon Preservation Committee's special website for loon gear buyback, um, for trading in your lead gear, getting loon safe gear for fishing. Um, and they have a great list of fishing gear suppliers there from all around the country. Um, and stores and places in New Hampshire and the area where you can get loon safe gear. So that's really important. If you're going out using fishing gear, we need to spread the word about that because since 1989, they say almost 50% of all documented loon fatalities are due to lead ingested. There's, there's statistics on, the, uh, on loon.org and loonsafe.org. Uh, it's it's amazing. It's it's quite an impact that um, that our actions, human or being actions, have on um, these animals, and by extension, the whole environment they live in. So this is huge. If we could just convince people 
I'm with loons. And let's say lead and do like one of those no lines across it. No lead. So this kid got the message and uh, is convinced. All right. So I'm feeling like this page is getting pretty full. You know, there's a couple little spaces we could put a few more details in. Don't forget the bugs. Hard to forget the bugs if you're out there. Put a few flies in to make it realistic. Maybe a dragonfly or two. Turtles, fish, anything else, right? All these little denizens of the lakes. There's always a lot going on out there. Let's put a couple turbulence ripples in here. But when you feel like your picture is ready, um, then it's time to ink. Remember our extra steps. Sometimes I, I recommend if you're drawing a comic, before you ink, that little star reminds me, ask somebody to take a look at your page and read it back to you. Make sure they can read everything, right? I'm, I think this is pretty readable because I'm looking at it on the page and on my screen and it looks fairly readable. I can do a couple things like move these words over as I ink so they're not squished against that line there. And I might make the sign a little bigger, uh, but I'll probably do that as I ink. So let's do a little bit of inking here. I'm gonna pull out my pencil. Uh, my pen, my black ink pen. I'm using a uh, just a felt tip flare pen because these are easy to find in office supply stores. They're pretty cheap. There are much better pens, but they get more and more expensive. So this is a good starting point. And then I also have a water-based marker. So I'll use that for like heavy black areas, the blacking of the heads and necks, maybe the water line. So that stands out and so on. So let's start in the, I'm a righty. So I'm going to start in the upper left and I just trace over my pencil lines here. And I'll be extra careful to get the dot in that eye right where I want it so it doesn't disappear. Sometimes as you're inking, you'll notice bits of your artwork kind of get harder to see. So stop, reevaluate. If you're drawing too small to ink, that's a warning your readers won't be able to read it anyways, right? So make sure you're drawing nice and big. I'll black that in with the marker and we'll see how those wings look. The wings are actually, they, they have checks also, but I find if I, if I put checks on the wings, it looks a little too complicated for my eye. If I do a big close up of loons, that'll be like our advanced loon tuning. We're keeping it pretty simple here. So I'm gonna keep the wings pure black. They're actually beautifully checked. One of the things we're working on um, as we're doing all these Loon Tunes this month, and it's been a full month now of Loon Tunes. This is our fifth Loon Tune Wednesday live draw. It's been a lot of fun. And one of the things we're starting to work on now is putting all these Loon Tunes together into a how-to Loon Tune book. I have like some sample pages here on my desk. Like here's one I was working on this morning basic common loon, right? How to do a basic loon, step-by-step -step directions of all the parts, and then a big piece, a big picture to show you what the deluxe version looks like and a couple fancy parts you can add on. Um, and I'll black all this in with my marker, of course. Um, so we're putting all that together. It's going to be a, it should be a free printable book. You can print the pages at least. Um, and then we'll also have fancy bound books for sale at some point. So that's the plan. That's going to be this fall. Loons, love, lead, free, lakes. So we'll put the book together late summer. We should have it out in the fall. That's my hope at least. But the best way to keep in touch with that is to head on over to MerrickBennett.com. Um, you can sign up there. You can also sign up on the Patreon if you want to help us do it. Um, and then you'll get all the updates about it. And members of my Patreon, if you sign on at the uh, like the graphic novel level or uh, or the comics lover level, you'll actually get comics in the mail. You'll get updates and then you'll get the book in the mail, which I love having that, you know, knowing that once the book is ready, it's going to go right to your mailbox and you're going to be able to use it to draw these characters and then spread the word about threats to loons, how to keep the environment safe. And we've got some other lead safety um, projects in the works. So I'll be announcing that this fall through the Patreon. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on out there. 
a lot of ways we can educate people about health threats to loons and to humans too, because lead is not just poisonous to these loons. It's pretty nasty for everything that it touches. Let's see. Well, you get the sense of how this goes. Inking is great fun if you can hang out with some friends and carefully ink your work. So I'm thinking later on, I'll do some live inking, pop on over to the Facebook page or something. Best thing is to uh, sign up at the Patreon if you're not already a patron, and then you'll get updates whenever we're doing that. I'm gonna do the, uh, the deluxe checking here. Put these legs on, and then I'm gonna get out my marker. I like to do this for this checking. The, the crossbars of the body, going across the body here, I'll do with thick lines because that makes it a little more, it spaces out the white stripes. It makes it more like white stripes on black. See that? And then the, uh, the checks going along the body will come in here. Try to do this so my hand doesn't block it for your view. I'll come in and do those with the thin lines. And that kind of makes the it makes it a little more like this neck band, right? White lines going across the black area instead of like a checkerboard square pattern. I mean, in the distance, that's not so important. These are just kind of squares, but I like getting up close and actually seeing that these are, it looks a little more like white stripes going across the black back, which is really what it is. Be extra careful as you come in with this heavy, heavy chisel tip. You don't want to accidentally black out your eyes. I'm trying to do all these loon tunes so you don't really have to erase anything to draw the loon tune. You know, there aren't like planning lines and things. Because of that, this is not exactly, uh, it, it's not like careful Audubon level uh, bird sketching, obviously. Um, they're a little, they're pretty cartoonified. There's a couple little things we can add, like some stripes on the shoulders and stuff. But the, uh, the final book version will, should have those deluxe features in there. See how this beak is almost touching that sign? I'm gonna do my old trick of not bringing the line of the sign all the way to the beak. I'm gonna make the sign a little wider this way, not touch it to the beak. And that makes it look like the beak is kind of tucked in front. It pops the beak out in front of the sign a little more. And here's the question for that fisher bean. Would you feed, and I want to emphasize your chicks, lead. That's cool. I was going to have it say, would you feed your kids lead? Then I realized as we were drawing it just now, I realized loons would call their kids chicks, you know, to the loons that those are chicks. So that's a little more like a sign my Loon Tune character would make, I think. Not a sign I would make, it's the sign the loons would make. And when you're drawing your artwork and you're speaking in the, the voice of your characters, you know you have a, a powerful character. I like how they, they grab sticks also to make their signs. That's kind of cool. That's a surprise for me. Okay. And I like how the chicks came out to join the, the education pro project here to teach the, the human families or the bean families about the importance of knowing what goes into their fishing tackle. Fishing, the lead fishing tackle is illegal to buy or sell here in New Hampshire. But that's just the state law. And you can go online now and get really cheap lead fishing gear and take it out and fish with it. So this is an important campaign, even though we have this good policy here in the state, this is an important campaign to wage, especially as people who are getting out, going fishing, coming in from out of state, we need to educate people constantly. Maybe the Loon Tunes can help us spread the word. Maybe we can help the Loon Tunes spread the word, I should say. All right. That looks really nice, really striking to get those shapes. That, that ink really brings those characters off the page. 
What's missing here? Oh, the checks. If you want, you can curve your checks along the back like this, or you can keep them straight. Either way, you can experiment with things. Um, let's see. One last thing. I'm thinking if I do the waterline and thin lines, it's going to disappear as it passes in front of these loons. And I'm trying to keep things simple and not do a lot of erasing and stuff. So I'm thinking, whoops, I got out of phase with my waves. There we go. I'm thinking I should go back over that and make it a thick line. Let's see how that looks. If you're ever not sure about that change, you could always make a uh, finish the picture, make a photocopy, and then add the thicker line. That's a little trick if you have access to a photocopier or a printer. Then you have both versions. That's a little better. I can see that water a little better, but maybe I should also like do my little dotted line waves under here just to make it clear that this is underwater. See, I already penciled a few lines in there, but that kind of gives the underwater a sense of undulating, flowing. Plus it has fish floating around in it, which is kind of a dead giveaway that you're underwater, right? Cartoon fish going by, maybe a couple bubbles, bloop, bloop, and so on. All right, this is coming together. So like usual, we are about out of time. So like usual, I'm gonna finish inking this and I'll post it later. It'll be over at the patreon.com as a printable. Um, I haven't tried coloring any of these, but maybe you have some ideas about coloring them. They might look really nice colored. I'd like to get some bright colored beans too into the scene. Maybe there's some other animals to include here, some other allies that the loons can enlist, uh, but head on over to the Comics Camp Clubhouse and the Patreon will, if you join there, you'll get some, um, you get the updates and everything. It's been a really fun, thank you so much to Green July for joining us, uh, for inviting us to join you. Thanks to loon.org for supplying so much wonderful information and loonsafe.org for buying back all that lead and helping save the loon tunes. And um, keep in mind, we're gonna have that how-to book as soon as I can get it together. So come on over for updates. And um, I'm looking forward to a full fall of drawing more loon tunes with you. It's been a lot of fun, folks. Um, thank you, thank you for your creativity and for joining us today. Um, it's been uh, it's been a busy summer. Whoop. It's been a busy summer. It's been a productive, creative summer. Um, and I wish you all the best with your comics, your Loon Tunes, and any other crazy animals and characters and things you draw. Um, just keep drawing. Draw some every day. And, uh, and, and I'll be here drawing some every day. And uh, let's keep in touch. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful week. Good luck. Lead-free Loons. Thanks. <laughs>